Singapore is small, and because it is small, it has limited resources. But despite that, it actually has infinite possibilities. It actually drives something in us to be creative and, and to find ways to actually overcome that limitation that is presented to us. And so we welcome people from the world to actually contribute to these infinite possibilities. And we also go out of the world to the world to explore these infinite possibilities that we have. So we offer global challenges for our students. We offer opportunities for them to be outside of Singapore, to do their projects outside of Singapore. And our staff also are in constant collaboration and cooperation and then conversation with different people from all over the world to actually build something that we can offer for a better world. is an educationist um, and the structure of the course allows for the flexibility of this course. We have an engineering and an architect uh, coming together to coordinate the class, but each cohort is also taught by two faculty from the, the discipline. One of the key things that we want to bring into the studio then is new tools to tackle these sort of uh, challenges and uh, to take the creative approach that we're always building up and developing from the initial design courses and to bring more specific simulation and digital fabrication uh, and just computational means yeah. so that you mix both the creative aspects with the more process driven mm -hmm. and data driven needs. a deeper understanding and a deeper thought process. And in order to run the option studios, we invite academicians and practitioners from all over the world to explore topics which are universal about design, about culture, about global issues and problems that relate to architecture and design. And these option studios are run as process of exploration, of design, problem framing, problem solving. Uh, with prominent people from all over the world. Uh, the Masters is set up uh, to encourage the students to develop their own questions and own challenges for technology and architecture in the future. Um, we develop a course where the students approach different faculty members and communicate with them about their special interests and area of expertise and they collaborate with them to develop a new type of architectural project. Um, rather than have the, the faculty themselves dictate um, the, the goals of the project, instead we're really keen to see what the students can provide in terms of envisaging sort of new architectural paradigms and approaches. But we're there to support them through, through that process. The Architecture Sustainable Design Pillar is very, very uh, keen on building bridges, creating conversations with different parts of the world. 